Maestro. Maestro. Dirty. Yes! Wow. This is cool. Let it go. How about you hold it? Oh. There's a lady in the way. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome to my third. George. <laughs> what a fam. Appreciate everybody. Um, all the shout outs that I got from making my SimWorld TV debut. Uh, it was a lot of fun. B Ron, the highest, the best looking man in SimWorld, you, and it was SimWorld Universe, and also the highest paid, uh, according to his new contract. Uh, well done. He's going to start buying lunches now. I'm not buying no more because my man's getting it done. No, just playing with you, B. You know you're my boo. All right, here's the deal. I want to kind of put in some more words for we talked about the upcoming uh, SimWorld Global Hoops Challenge this weekend and why I'm leaning on my favorite uh, for the week, looking at the numbers and that SimWorld Atlantis, uh, not just because of the three-headed law firm that they have of Doug, Marcus, and Kendrick Jorgensen, but also the play of uh, Zeke LaFleur those athletes and what they bring to the table, how they're able to get up and down the court. How, I love how the, the, I call it the three headed law firm, how they're able to rotate their own version of the triangle. I've seen them do that too many times, both all three facilitate very well. All three finish very well. And I think they're going to be a handful of any of the other teams to deal with. And I saying that they can, as I said before, I'm just saying that I see them being more of a handful than anyone else. So now this is about, Kai Killens and getting his CIA information in because he'd be scouting all y'all. I'm just letting you know. So the idea for those particular three, <laughs> you know what's up, Kai. The idea for those three and how they're able to be used, right? It allows the coach, and I've said this before, it allows the coach a lot of different things. One, I can flip my offense. I can offset it. I can make my triangle those three. I can have the other two in support and back cuts and stuff like that. Because all three pass so well, it makes them super dangerous. And I think that's what's going to pay off for them this weekend. Not so much in that they're going to be scoring dominant, primary primary scoring dom dominant, as you normally see, but that they're going to be able to turn that into great facilitation and how it's going to work. The key to a team like this no matter what you might have. And you're seeing this across the table from prep to you to pro. The key to all of this is one thing, having that other player that can step in and be the, how, how can we say this? Be the reverse catalyst. In other words, these players are making it happen and over here. Guess what? There's space over here for me. Let me come do what I got to do. And that is, the player that I see doing filling that role, as I've talked about before, is Zeke LaFleur. And I think that's going to pay off for them. Being, you know, the willingness to be that dirty player, get in, get the rebounds, maybe get the steals, maybe get your hands on um, uh, just disrupting a pass. Now, we know the best thievery that's going to happen is probably going to happen on the other side when we look at the play of, um, of, 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 of a guy like Dara Storm, right? He is incredibly adept at being able to take the ball away from his opponents. And that just shows you his hand-eye coordination. So how does that turn around for another team? So with Africa having somebody like Dara Storm, who you know he's going to make it very difficult for everybody else, right? You know he's going to be able, you know he, he alone with almost five steals a game, he can make that sort of impact. How would that affect Atlantis right away? And they see each other very off, off the tip, their very first matchup. I think it's going to be their most defensively challenging matchup and how that's going to play out at the end. It's going to really make a difference. You guys know the deal. Holla at your boy. Let me know what's up. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know what you want to think about. Let me know how you want to think about it. You know, let's have a conversation. You know, the, the, the way that the scene is going now, Prep just had their first break, which means every team, including, well, the ones that are playing this week anyway, they have a full two-week break. Other teams might have a little bit more as the tournaments kick back up. How is that going to play out? Let me know what you think the extended play during the day means. Answer Maestro that question. Like, 
do you think it helps your development? Do you think it puts you in a position to have to push a little bit more than you thought you might have? Does it give you more time to work on stuff during the week and more time to implement it during the actual tournaments? Let me know what you feel. Let's talk about it. Let's have this conversation. You know, the whole point of this is for you to develop and move forward. So let's make that happen. Hopefully you guys had a good one. Again, thank you, everybody, for all your words for SimWorld today. And uh, I guess they're going to let me uh, get on it sooner. You know, my mom says I have a face for hieroglyphics, which means never mind. You know what it means. Uh, and also a face face for radio. So there it is. Um, these videos, I have to do them because the boss is <laughs> so just playing this plan, this plan. I appreciate all you guys. Appreciate all the feedback. Appreciate all the comeback. You know the deal. Yell at your boy. Let's get this done. Let's have some fun. And always, 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 never let Jason Bourne borrow your car. Oh, wait, do you want me to read? Thank you again for checking out the Maestro Sturdy Shorts. Drop a tag below and give us a piece of your mind. The Maestro. Dirty. Ah!